The magnificent temple of Putuo Tsong Seng Miao lies in front of the beautiful mountains and hills that surround Chengde, a town that is located about 250 kilometers northeast of Beijing. The temple belongs to the so-called Eight Outer Temples of China's former Summer Palace. The Tibetan Potala Palace served as a model for Potuo Tsong Seng Miao. Because of its similarity to the original palace in Lhasa, the winter residence of the Dalai Lama, the temple of Chengde is often referred to as Little Potala, a clear understatement considering its ample dimensions. Each of the eight outer temples, as well as the splendid summer palace, were built during the 18th century by the Chinese Manchu emperors Kangxi and Qianlong. With this, they created a unique architectural synthesis. The buildings of Putuo Tsongseng Miao, with their picturesque archways, harmonize perfectly with nature. In 1767, the lavish construction work of this extraordinary temple began. Four years later, the temple was completed. Beautifully decorated buildings were the gift of Emperor Qian Long to celebrate his 60th birthday and also the 80th birthday of his mother. As a result of the enormous cost of his birthday gift, in subsequent years the Emperor gave no further gifts. It would have been almost impossible to build another temple on this grand scale. Apart from its original religious significance, the Putuo Temple also gained political importance during negotiations with the Torguts. Following suppression by the Russian Tsars, the Mongolian people officially became part of the Chinese Empire. The so-called Red Terrace is the main building of the Putuo Temple. It is an impressive and majestic building that is situated on top of a 17-meter-high terrace. From outside, the Red Terrace appears to have seven stories. In reality, only three stories lie behind the Red Terrace's mighty defensive façade. The Red Terrace is 60 metres wide and nearly 43 metres high. It is the largest individual building in the temple complex of Putuo Tsong Seng Miao. Much attention was paid to its highly artistic design and roof construction that is decorated with an array of beautiful architectural detail.
Five so-called stupas emphasize the rich symbolic character of the buildings within this holy place. The stupas were meant to symbolize victory over the forces of evil. The facade of the Great Red Terrace is decorated with six yellow and green glazed overlapping Buddha recesses. They each represent ten years of the life of Emperor Qianlong. Covering an area of around 220,000 square meters, this temple is the largest of the entire Chengde complex. The variety of picturesque views is breathtaking. Behind the massive facade of the Red Terrace, there is a tranquil courtyard fabric gently blowing in the breeze and large ritual vessels and to the grand yet peaceful atmosphere of the courtyard. Putuo Tsong Sang Miao consists of around 40 different halls and buildings, many of which served as the setting for great ceremonies and official functions. Only on rare occasions where foreign guests, such as the English legation under Earl George McCartney in the year 1793, allowed to visit the summer palace and its eight outer temples. Of course, today foreign visitors are very welcome, and Chengde is one of the most popular tourist attractions in China. From the roof of the Great Red Terrace, there are splendid views of the surrounding landscape and magnificent mountains. As with most of the other temples, this building faces the Emperor's Summer Palace. Today, the degree of meticulous craftsmanship and highly developed sense of aesthetic beauty and harmony of Chinese architecture are an impressive bequest of China's former monarchy. The incredible wealth and beauty of Putuo Tsong Seng Miao provides many unforgettable impressions of a fascinating cultural and historical epoch.